What's up guys? It's your boy the Chinji here with another video. Gonna go through the Game Awards 2019. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> no. For real though, what's up guys? Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I know it's been a long while since I last uploaded. But uh, here we are. I just wanna go through the 2019 Game Awards nominees, uh, and then I already recorded, tried, what is up with my hair? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I don't know. Uh, I already attempted to record this the other day, and, uh, ended up being like a 50 minute long video, and I figured that, uh, nobody wants to see that. So... I did already do, I did already vote for him, but I'm still going to go through and talk about him. And I might change a couple of mine, because I did a little bit more research on the games and kind of watched some streams and stuff of some of the games. So, yeah. So, Game of the Year. Um, I chose Death Stranding here. Amazing game. Uh, a lot of people I know aren't, don't, don't like the game. Or just don't like the gameplay. I think it's amazing. Mm. I've watched quite a bit of it. I haven't played pretty much none of these games I've played because I'm a dad and I don't have a current gen console or anything. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I picked Death Stranding here. I've watched quite a bit of uh, content and gameplay on it and it looks amazing. It looks super fun and it's definitely something I would enjoy. Um, I know a lot of people wouldn't, but I do think that it's amazing. So, yeah, that, that, that's my choice here. Um, I don't know what Control is. I didn't look into that game. Um, uh, Resident Evil 2 is, a, is like a remake, I guess, which I think is stupid to have as Game of the Year. Um, and then Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. I think that is a good game. It looks very... Enraging, um, and very something I would try, but probably get mad at very easily. Hi. Yeah. You got milk like all over your mouth. There. Your hair looks nuts too, like daddy's. Uh. And then Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Haven't played it, but I've played uh, other ones. I played the original, the 64 version. Enjoyed that, and I've watched quite a bit of content on it. And I know they do tournaments and stuff like that, so it's a fun game. It's cool. But I, I, for me, it just had to be Death Stranding. And then The Outer Worlds. I actually did look into that game, and it looks pretty funny and interesting. And I like the... The... Uh, the... Game style, it's kind of like a uh, mashup between like it. It gives me like a vibe of like Bioshock uh, and like a um, Fallout kind of something like that, like a mix up between them. Uh, and it looked good. The graphics were good. The gameplay looked good interesting concepts for like the the fighting and stuff like that and I like that you can just like it seemed like you could just kill anybody you wanted no matter what uh anyways uh and so I went with Death Stranding Game of the Year I think that that will probably be the one that wins it um yeah so action game uh Apex Legends Astral Chain have not played Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Um, get out of here. Jesus. Notifications. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Uh, I, I've watched plenty on that. Haven't, of course, haven't played it, but I've watched it. It looks good. Um, Devil May Cry 5. Don't know anything about it. Uh, Gears 5, watched some stuff about it, it's pretty good. Uh, and then Metro Exodus, I watched quite a bit of that when it came out. Um, I went with Metro Exodus here. 
I think it's a good game, and I like the open world style games. Um, and I think that it does have a, you know, I think it's good. I think I, I for me, I just like the thought that it fit in this category. It seemed like it was a very, very heavy, fo heavily focused on the combat, which I like. So, yeah. Uh, my second one I probably would have been Gears 5. Um, yeah. Okay, so this is action adventure. I went with Borderlands 3 here. Uh, it's an obvious choice, man. Like, come on. It's Borderlands. Um, I've played Borderlands 1 and 2, and then I've played the prequel. Uh, I finished Borderlands 1. The 2 and the prequel I did not finish, but I played a pretty good amount of. Uh, and I just like Borderlands. I mean, if you don't like Borderlands, a lot of people didn't like Borderlands 3, but it's like, if you like Borderlands, it's just more Borderlands. So, yeah. Uh, control still don't know. Death Stranding, I, like, it had a good adventure. I don't think it was very action-y, like, um, it definitely did have a lot of problem, uh, puzzle solving, um, and, ter like, yeah, I, I mean, that's probably my second choice here, but I just went with Borderlands 3. Um, because I felt like Borderlands 3 had more combat. And because it says combining combat and traversal, and I feel like Borderlands definitely had more of that than Death Stranding. Um, Resident, Resident Evil 2. Uh, still not a fan, and not sure, you know, it's a remake, I'm not sure why it's in there, uh, The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening, don't know about that, I don't, and then Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, that's another one that could have, could have easily went in this, uh, so art direction here, control, Death Stranding, so, Death Stranding could have been another choice here, but I don't want to just put all my votes on Death Stranding whenever it comes up, you know. Gris, I don't know about that. Uh, Sayonara Wild Hearts, and then Sekiro, D Shadows Die Twice, and The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. So I went with Sekiro here. Um, I think it was a very good, good looking and beautiful game. I think the animations were really good. And so I just wanted to give it an award, you know. And I thought this was a good one to fit that fit it very well. And I thought that it fit in the category very well. Very well. Okay, so audio design. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. <laughs> Control. Death Stranding. Gears 5. Resident Evil 2. And Sekiro. And I just felt like giving Sekiro this one as well. Because I think it is a very good game. Uh, and like I said, like... For me, Death Stranding is just a really good game. It's definitely a game of the year, and it probably would have fit in a lot of these categories. But like I said, I didn't want to just throw it in every single category just because, you know. So I went with Sekiro Shadows Die Twice because I think it's a good game, and I do think that it deserves some credit, you know, some awards. So this is Community Support. Um, Apex Legends, Destiny 2. I'm pretty sure Destiny 2 is a dead game. Pretty sure it's a dead game. No. I'm just kidding. I don't know. It just isn't. I don't see a lot about Destiny 2 anymore. But you know, if you play and enjoy it, man, good, good. That's good. Um. Oh, sorry. Uh, Final Fantasy 14. I don't know anything about that. I haven't seen anything about it. I haven't played any of it. My son's telling me about his choices for game of the year. My son's telling me his choices for the Games Awards this year. He has a lot to say. <laughs> oh, yeah? Anyways, so, uh, Fortnite. I, so, here's my thing. I feel like Fortnite is definitely going to win this category. Just it, for everybody. Like, it, I just feel like there's a lot of Fortnite backers out there, you know. But for me, I picked Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. I feel like they had done a great job. 
of keeping their game current, updated, uh, fixing patches, or, you know, patching and fixing bugs, and bringing in new operators and content and stuff like that. I think they've done a good job of that. They, the, all the operations, I've played quite a few of them, and I think they're good, so. So this is Content Creator of the Year. I know a few of these, but some of them I don't know. Uh, Courage, I've watched him. Uh, Dr. Lupo, watched him. Ewok, have no clue. Uh, Graf G, have no clue. And Shroud, I, I, I won't Shroud here, man. I'm just, I'm a Shroud guy. I think he's, I think he is a very good content creator, and I think he does, I, I just enjoy watching him stream, you know, and watching his videos and stuff. I think he's interesting. And he's, he's like, insane. <laughs> He's insanely good at FPS games, man. It's crazy. Uh, okay, so eSports Coach. So this one, I kind of... I only knew a couple in here. So I kind of just went with, like, non... Or super biased. Not really knowing any of the other ones. So Adrian, I know him. So I watch quite a bit of CSGO. eSports. Kane, have no clue. Don't really watch a lot of LOL. So these two are... Or three are lost on me. Uh, grabs, no clue. And then... Kekoma. I have no clue. I know the teams, I just don't know the coaches. Don't watch a lot of Dota 2 content either, so I don't know that either. Uh, Sakshaka... Hello? Sure. And then Zonic, which I know him. And, I, yeah, I don't know. I just went with Adrian there, because I think he does a good job. And I don't know. Team Lopewood, man, I don't know. So this is eSports events. I was at none of these. <laughs> but I did watch most of these. Some of most of these. Maybe not all of them. Um, so my, my choice here is going to be based on the uh, broadcast audience experience. So... Uh, 2019 Overwatch League Grand Finals. I watched some of that. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Uh, EVO 2019, I did not watch any of it. Uh, Fortnite World Cup, didn't watch any of it. I Am Katowice 2019, watched some of it. Watched the Counter-Strike of it. Um, and League of Legends World Championship, I watched some of it. A couple of games. And then the International, uh, I... I think I maybe caught like one game or part of one game. So for me, I just went with IEM Katowice. Um, I always think that the you know the IEM Katowice event is always amazing and cool. So I was just that's my personal opinion. Uh, Esports game of the year. I went Counter Strike Global Offensive here. I haven't played it in forever, um, but I think that they do a good job and they. Uh, I feel that they. Um, you know, I think they do the best at keeping the game current and competitive and stuff like that, and I think it, they do a good job at esports. Probably, honestly, my second choice here would have been Dota 2. What? You went up here? Come on. Come on. Ugh. I... Uh, second choice here would have probably been Dota 2. Uh, Fortnite, I don't know. It's just, I don't know about the competitive for Fortnite. It, it, I've watched vague amounts of it, and it's like insane. I don't know what's going on. Uh, League of Legends, I mean, they do a good job too, but to personally, like, the reason I picked CSGO is just I was biased. And then Overwatch, I think that all all these all these games do a good job of keeping their games competitive and having okay. competitive scene for them. Yeah, okay. Adam thinks so too. He just agreed with me. Okay. I speak, baby. Uh. <laughs> Hi. Anyways, uh, esports host. I didn't know very many of these uh, shonks, or however you say her name. Okay. Uh, Machine. I just voted for Machine because I, I know of him and hey, that was pretty much my choice. Okay. 
You're noisy. Hey. Uh, Red Eye, Golden Boy, and Candace. I don't know that last one. What are you doing, you goober? He's such a goober. Uh, so, Esports Player of the Year. Uh, probably don't know these. Uh, Booga? Don't know. Faker. And if I watch names here, my bad. Uh, Perks. Simple and Sinatra. So I went with Simple here. He's just an amazing player. Uh, he just is. He's just insane, man. He is. He's just legit insane. Uh, it was a toss up here between Simple and Faker here because I Faker is just insane too. Like they're both insane players, but I just went with Simple because it's Counter Strike and at least. Uh. uh I like Counter Strike more than I like League of Legends. No offense. Uh, Esports team, so like 100%. I just went with Astralis here. I think they're an amazing roster. They have an amazing story behind them. Uh, you know, they were on a team, dropped their org, basically was org were orgless for like a while, and created their own complete organization. They have done amazing, and just have wrecked Counter Strike the competitive scene and gotten tons of trophies and wins and stuff like that and tournaments and they're just they're just really good uh g2 esports league of legends uh og dota 2 san francisco shock overwatch league and team liquid so my other my my choice was basically between the two counter strike ones was it was either astralis or team liquid i don't know um Family Gay, Luigi's Mansion 3, Ring Fit Adventure, Super Mario Maker 2, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Yoshi's Crafted World. I want Super Smash Bros. here. Uh, like I said before, I think it's a really good game. It's fun. It's like, this is like, it's like a game that, you know, you can sit down with your family and play. And have like, a lot of fun and probably get mad at each other for, uh... For, you know, like losing and stuff like that, but it, it's, it's, I'm sure that it's like, yeah, it, it would be fun. Uh, fighting game, I don't, do, I didn't know a lot of these fighting games here, so I, this is completely, um, just kind of not well-known category for me. I went with Mortal Kombat 11 because I watched quite a bit of that and I played a little bit of it actually, surprisingly. And I enjoyed it and it's a fun game and it's Mortal Kombat, man. It's the, like, one of the, one of the OGs, man. Fresh indie game had literally, I have no clue here. Uh, Za Uma, or the Disco Elysium. This is the studio that created them. So I'm just gonna say the games. Um, Gris, my friend Pedro, whatever, Outer Wilds, not Outer Worlds, different, uh, Slay the Spire, and then the Untitled Goose Game, I just went with that because I know that it's like a big thing with the internet, people have like went nuts over it and stuff like that, so I just went with it, I was like whatever, I'll just join the, join the hive mind of the internet. Uh, so this is game direction. Uh, control, I don't know anything about. And if I'm missing out on that game, I mean, let me know, man. Let me know in the comments, guys. Uh, Resident Evil 2, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, and then Outer Wilds. So for this, I just went with uh, Death Stranding because they did something that, like, something completely new in the game genre, like... They did an amazing job, and the, the gameplay is completely different than what's been out there, and they just took a chance, and I think that they really did an amazing job. Uh, I know not everybody agrees with that, and not everybody likes the game, but I think that it was good. Uh, games for Impact. I I didn't, once again, don't know any of these. I just went with Life is Strange 2. I watched the original Life is Strange. I get watched a playthrough of it, and I watched the... Life is Strange 2 playthrough, and so I just went with that. 
Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't know any of these other games in this, so. Uh, this was independent game. Once again, don't know. Um, so I just went with Untitled Goose Game again. I didn't know anything in that category. Mobile game. I went with Call of Duty Mobile here. Honestly, if I had the choice, I would have went with PUBG. But that's just me. <laughs> uh, but I have played Call of Duty Mobile, and I think it's pretty good. Grindstone, don't know. Sinar, Wild Hearts, don't know. And Sky Children of the Light, don't know. And What the Golf, don't. I, I haven't played any of those other ones, so I just went with one that I have played. Uh, so this is multiplayer game. I went with Apex Legends here. Um, I, I just, you know, I, I don't know. It's biased. I don't know. I, I wasn't really, I really don't think Tom Clancy's Division 2 was a big deal. Tetris 99, uh, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I mean, it's more, it's, an, it's another Call of Duty and, you know, I don't know. Uh, Borderlands 3, and then Apex Legend. I just you know, I just went with Apex Legend here because I think it's a fun game, and I think that they are doing a good job. Um, so, yeah. Narrative. So, a lot of these I did not know, once again, and I just went with Death Stranding. Um, but honestly, I think I'm going to change this vote because this is one of the ones that I did actually look into. Um... I'm going to actually cancel my vote because I've already voted for Death Stranding, and I'm going to go to Outer Worlds here. Like, watch the game. I think it's super funny. It looks cool. So, and so, I'm changing my vote. Uh, and this ongoing game, uh, Apex Legends, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy 14, Fortnite, and then I want Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege again here, uh, because, like I said before, they just do a good job with their content and keeping it up to date and stuff like that, I think. So, yeah. Uh, performance. This is voice acting or motion capture, performance capture, whatever. Uh, I did not know most of these, so I just went with uh, Norman Reedus here as Sam Porter Bridge, Bridges. Uh, he had to probably get motion captured to poop. Yeah, so <laughs> he deserves an award for that man. No, but that game, I think that they did a really amazing job with that game and the the motion capture that I assume that they've done. Um, and so, yeah, I think he just did an amazing job, did a good job voice acting and stuff like that for that game. So I think he definitely deserves it. So this is a role playing game of the year. I don't, I, I, I didn't really know a lot of these. And I just went with Kingdom Hearts 3 here. But now that I have looked into it more, um, I, like I said, I did watch The Outer Worlds. I honestly, it was it's now like a toss-up between Kingdom Hearts 3 and that, that Outer Worlds game. But Kingdom Hearts 3, man, I've been waiting forever for that game. I haven't played it, but I have watched quite a bit of content on it because I just... Uh, Kingdom Hearts, man. Played one and two, beat both of them. Amazing, 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 amazing. Like, just, probably one of my personal, one of my personal favorite game series. <sighs> so good. Um, maybe my number one, honestly. Like, legitimately. They, they're really good. I really enjoyed them. Super fun, super, super fun. Uh, so this was Scorn Music. Uh... I I just went with Kingdom Hearts 3 here because, like, I just love the music in the game, man. It's just, it's good. It's good. Yeah. I, I think they did a good job. A sports racing game. I literally skipped this category because I do not know. I, I don't know. I don't play sports games. I don't play racing games, really. And strategy game. I'm pretty sure I skipped this category as well. Yes, yeah, I don't play strategy games, or any of those at least, and I don't know anything about them. And this is a VR, AR game, and this is our last category, so. Yeah, uh, so, I went with No Man's Sky here, um, because, man, they tried. They've been trying on that game so hard, man. 
amazing concept, and it's just been like a struggle for them. They need something, man. They need an award. Give them an award. Uh, also, I would have my second my second choice probably would have been uh, Beat Saber. Beat Saber because I think it's just a fun game. You're being very, very talkative. Um, yeah. So I hope. What you want to ask me, Baba? What? Come on. Whatever. You just hang out down there, whatever, man. Okay, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, a lot shorter than it was last time. Uh, glad glad about that. I tried to kind of speed it up. I know it's still like a fairly long video, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope you watched it all the way through, and if you did. Awesome. You guys are awesome. Um, but yeah, I think uh, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, and yeah, I will leave a link uh, in the description to cast your vote on the your choices for the Game Awards. Um, and if you don't agree with mine, go, make, go cast your own vote. Maybe yours will win. But yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day, amazing week, and uh, I will see you in the next one.